It's Pogosic29 here. Welcome to episode number 45 of my Bucket Plugin Coding Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to um, add effects. We're going to be adding a smoke effect when the bullet is fired at the location, like the gun is letting off some smoke, and then also when the gun, when the bullet hits the player, will, you know, shoot some smoke out there. You know, just to add a cool effect. This was a uh, request I got in the comments, and it's a good example for um, effects. Before we begin, I have gotten a lot of comments, and I've taken notes. The This is a list of all of the videos that I will be getting to in the future. So, uh, if you have a request, and it is in that list, I have the request, and I will make a video on it, so no need to comment about it. If you have a request that is not uh, on this list, then feel free to comment it, and I will put it on the list. Um, uh, also, for the 500 subscribers special, it will be a live code paintball plugin. Um, when we get closer to that, I will give you more information, but I'll pick a day, probably on the weekend, when I have some time, and I'll dedicate a few hours to writing a fully functioning paintball plugin with arenas and lobbies and uh, different things. And when it's done, I will release it on Bucket Dev and I will release the source code on GitHub so that you guys can use the paintball plugin and you can also look at the source code and uh, use it to help you. Because I have gotten a lot of um, questions about the lobby signs and whatever. So this will give you a this is a, you know, it will be a working paintball plugin, and you can uh, use some of the code there to help you. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, effects, uh, playing effects like smoke effects are very simple, and they are also very similar to, um, to uh, playing sounds. So after we fire the fireball, let's go ahead and say e.getplayer.playeffect, and you can go ahead and give it a... Uh, Location e dot get player dot get location. Hang on one second. Hmm. And you can also give it a um, effect. This is an enumerator, and for this we'll go ahead and choose smoke. And this integer argument, you should just be good to put one there. Um, you can go ahead and copy this line and set it right here. And we're going to change this for the fireball, so um, we want to play smoke where the fireball, uh, fireball location, what is wrong with this? Hmm. Oh, sorry, it's f.getworld.playeffect. There we go. Very good. Um, now, one more thing. Um, I got a comment, I don't remember who wrote the comment, that said that um, it is not a very good idea to do the item in hand check because if the shooter shoots the gun and then changes their inventory, that could be a problem. And I completely agree, so uh, I'm going to just show you guys quickly how to fix that. And we're going to use a hash map for that. So we're going to make a private um, hash map. And it's going to take a string and a fireball. And I'm using a string because I did get a lot of comments about memory leak issues having to do with uh, players and hash maps and array lists. So um, I am using the string. So I hope you guys are happy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make a new hash map string fireball. Alright, and basically this hash map, whenever a player fires a, um, a shot, we're going to place the player's name and the fireball in the shooters, and then we can, um, you know, do a check down there. So what we're going to want to do is um, go ahead and say, we'll do it right here, we'll say shooters.put e.getplayer.getName and f. Then finally, we're going to change this check, and we're going to say if shooters.get shooter equals f, and I think we're going to use dot equals f. So we're saying if the fire, so we're we're going into shooters and we're getting the fireball from the from the shooter. And if the shooter's fireball is the same as the fireball that attacked, 
So if the fireball that attacked the um, player matches the fireball that the shooter fired, then we can safely say that we can do the damage accordingly. And that should be all. We can go ahead and export the new version of guns, version 1.1. I like to change the version number, gives you a sense of accomplishment. Alright, so let's go ahead and export guns, fire up terminal, and start up our server. Good. Go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And multiplayer, here's our local host. Alright, so now we are on the local testing server, and I have my, um, iron, my, uh, iron shovel, which is what we're using as the gun. Now, I can't show you the whole hash map thing, and you probably don't, you probably haven't really noticed the difference yourself, but I do recommend making the change, because, um, it will be helpful, just like the comment said, if the shooter, you know, uses the gun and then immediately switches to something else, then the damage will not be done accordingly. So, let's go ahead and take our iron shovel and fire it. As you can see, we did have a smoke effect right there, and when it fired off, you can see the smoke effect is pretty small. I believe that, that the uh, integer that you put there changes the um, size of the smoke effect. I'm not completely sure. Ah, that's uh, steps. Well, uh, alright. You guys can go ahead and fool around with that, but that is the basic um, idea of how to uh, do effects. Now you can look around because um, there are other effects other than just um, the uh, the smoke. So um, that is all for this video. You guys learned about effects and we uh, fixed a bug in the gun plugin that we made in the last video. Um, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, the sooner we, we, we reach 500 subs, the sooner I can uh, make the paintball plugin which I'm sure you guys are excited about. Uh, comment with what you want to learn if it is not on the list, which I'll put up again. These are all videos I'm going to do. If you see something that's not on the list, please comment about it, and I will put it on the list. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'm sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. I was very busy. But uh, I'm, I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, guys.